Yes, I, I was talking about the future of work and education and, of course, humanity. And I think the key point was that I think we need to embrace technology, to use technology, but not become technology. That we need to also keep things for, for us and that we need to invest the same amount of resources into technology that we invest in humanity or vice versa, of course. I think we should, uh, you know, if you look at the low-hanging fruits, the obvious things, be not too ambitious about technology, like using things like the cloud or email appointment systems to make it simple, you know, to do things that will make the life of the customer easy, like online forms and apps and those kinds. That's a good way to get started without thinking about how uh, we'll have a robot servicing our customer, you know, start on a lower level. I think we need to have a lot more uh, events like this. we we'll get people tuned up with what's happening and help each other. It's always very useful. I think the key message is that the future is already here. It's just that we haven't paid enough attention. So we need to pay more attention to what's coming because it's coming tomorrow, not next, next decade. Isakita Eharubian, website.